All right, guys. Today's video is going to be on installing Smooth ROM uh, version 4.0. Um, so basically, I'm going to go over a couple of prerequisites. Uh, you want to make sure you have an unlocked bootloader, uh, along with root access and custom recovery install, either Clockwork Mod Recovery or uh, Twerp. I have Twerp. Then you want to go in here, and this is on also on my Nexus 7. Sorry there. Um, and you want to go into Goo Manager and download compatible ROMs and go to Smooth ROM. Pick it up here and right there, Smooth ROM version 4.0 zip. So go ahead and download that, which I have already done. So you can actually use Goo Manager to flash this if you would like to. You can just say flash ROMs right here. Um, I'm going to just do it another way. I'm going to actually reboot my device. So basically, requirements are. Um, unlock bootloader, root access, and a custom recovery installed, and download the Smooth ROM version 4.0. Once you've done those things, you can actually just hold down your power button, reboot and reboot into recovery, hit OK, and it's going to reboot me into uh, Team Win Recovery Project or Torp Recovery. So let me go over a couple things on this ROM. Uh, Smooth ROM is based off of the latest uh, Android update for the Nexus 7, which is 4.1.2, which is JZ054K. So you're going to get those all those features in this thing. This also uses Aroma Installer and lets you choose things. So let me just show you this. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into this thing and we are going to do our wipes so we'll go to wipe and we're going to wipe cache that's done back wipe delvic back and wow factory reset and go ahead and do that um also you might want to make a backup of your current rom so you can go back might want to make a backup of your current rom in case you want to go back to it i've already done that so from here we're going to go to install and we're going to uh, go to where Goo Manager is. Let's see if I can find Goo Manager here. Goo Manager and Smooth ROM. Select it. And then you're just going to hit Confirm to Install. So this should go ahead and install it for us. So here, here you go. This is the Aroma, if I'm even saying that right, installer. Uh, so it just says hit Next to continue to install. So we're going to hit it and it tells you some things. This is recommended to wipe all data and etch first, which we've already done. Um, and you can hit next again. So now you get to pick your kernel. Um, so uh, let's see here. It actually gives you some things smooth, smoothest, smooth, and some other kernels. So smoothest is bricked kernel, so I'm actually going to use that. That's what he recommends it looks like. So we're going to use that and we're going to hit next. Um, and then you can pick your browser. I'm going to use Chrome because I like Chrome. So we're going to download Chrome. You have to choose between Dolphin, Stock, uh, Boat Browser, or Chrome, Google Chrome. So I'm going to use Chrome. We'll install that. And then um, you got some, some inch, uh, things here you can do. So you can do uh, Google Apps recommended. So I got that. Add blocker host. I'm going to go ahead and let that go too. And then you can do tablet mod mode. Works good. I'm not going to mess with that. We're just going to go on. But if you guys want it, there's an option for it right there. Okay, so now it's going to go ahead and it's going to do this whole flashing process here. Um, data, it's extracting the files. About 20% through here. Um, so let's just let this thing flash when it gets to the next step. Oh, there we go. Giving permissions, you now it's doing the kernel, the bricked kernel. Web browser just did that, now it's doing the Google Apps. We're already at 70%, this is going pretty quick. Um, so let's, let's probably just let this thing in. So stock IU, ad blocker hosting is done, unmounting smooth system, installation done. All right, wow, that was very quick. So we'll do next. All right, it was done successfully. So hit finish. And it's finishing, and then we're going to reboot system. And now we should reboot, and this should be Smooth ROM version 4.0. We're going to go through it. I want to run. I want to run, download a couple things really quick, and then um, probably run a uh, 
quadrant on it and see what we got. So let's let this boot up and I'll get back to when I get this thing, maybe an app downloaded or set up a little bit here. Okay, I had to show you the boot animation. Little Android guy with like this like sandstorm looking thing going around him. Alright, we'll come back to it. Alright, here we are. This is uh, booted up here. This is your smooth ROM. Um, wallpaper how it comes. It, it does seem pretty smooth. Um, I did go ahead and run a quadrant on it just to see how it works. Uh, so let's actually go in and look at that. I took, I actually took a quadrant beforehand. I was on Codename, An Codename Android, um, and then I took a quadrant on this on Smooth ROM. So here's Codename Android. This is 34.19, and here is Smooth ROM, which is 45.28. So you can say you picked up about a thousand points there. Um, which is pretty sweet. So definitely a lot, uh, lot quicker there. Um, so yeah, basic look here. Uh, you can change some different tweaks up here. You can go in your settings and um, you have themes and lock screen settings. Your basic CM kind of kind of stuff on here. Um, your performance settings. You know you can do your see here processor clock speeds and looks like we're maxed out at uh, 16. Yeah, 1600 megahertz or 1.6 gigahertz if we want to go up to that. I'm sitting at 15 right now. Um, 1500 megahertz. And you got your, your, your mins, which you can go all the way down to 51 megahertz, which is really low if you want to. Um, so you got some settings there. You got your uh, on demand governor, CPU governor, which you can change right there. Interactive is normally what I like to go with. So, yeah, that's pretty much pretty much it, man. There's not, not too terribly much to it. Here's your apps. It doesn't come with a lot um, of Google apps. Basically, your your mail, your Google Chrome, um, you know, your your, uh, your music and your Play Store. That's really about it. There isn't too much on here for Google. The rest of it's stock you got. You do have your Super your Sue and you have your Goo Manager already in the thing. I downloaded the Quadrant, so... That's pretty much all the apps you got. You have your basic widgets also. So overall, I think it's nice, really smooth. Obviously, very fast for Quadrant, um, and I definitely like the wallpaper on it, which I actually have the same wallpaper on my phone right now. So there it is, guys. That is how you would uh, install Smooth Round 4.0, and it also has that Aroma Aroma Launcher or installer built into it, where you can just answer those questions and installs it how you want it. So I really like that. Um, if you want to check this thing out, uh, I will put links uh, in the in the video description for files, XDA links to get to where the you can read up on exactly how to do this, um, along with links to probably the ROM and other things like that. So uh, please check this out. Give it a shot on your Nexus 7 and see if you like it. Thanks.